Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the Lightning Knowledge Migration Tool. Use the Lightning Knowledge Migration Tool to move your classic knowledge base into Lightning Knowledge. The Lightning Knowledge Migration Tool works differently depending on whether your org has one or multiple article types. Full testing of the tool must be completed in a recently refreshed full sandbox prior to enabling the tool in the production environment. Running the tool in the sandbox org is necessary to make sure you have fully tested the implications of the migration process and identify your organization's unique requirements to develop an implementation plan to minimize potential production impacting issues. First step is to log into the production org. Click on the gear icon. Select Setup. Type Sandbox in the Quick Find box and select Sandbox. Refresh a full sandbox and wait for it to be done, which may take some time due to the amount of data. Once that's done, Activate the sandbox. Next is to review the pre-migration checklist prior to running the tool, since this is very important. For more information, review the link on the bottom of the screen. We have also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Next, there are two methods to follow which depends on the number of article types created in the org. In this screencast, I am migrating multiple article types since this is typical of an org using knowledge. Go to the Sandbox org and switch to Lightning Experience if it is not already enabled. Click on the gear icon. Click Setup and enter migration in the Quick Find box. Click on Lightning Knowledge Migration Assistant. Click the box you have read the Lightning Migration documentation and agree to the terms of the service. After, click Start. The first page will show the article types and custom fields that will be consolidated into one new knowledge object. Click Next. The next page will show the fields being matched to the new fields for each article type. The migration tool creates a placeholder field called article type underscore field name, where underscore field name matches the custom field name. To choose alternative field mappings, click a drop down under New Field. I will tab through each article type after reviewing and mapping the article fields. I will leave everything as is and click Next. Since I have files, the page to move your classic files to Lightning Knowledge appears. I will select Default Visibility to All Users and click Next. The last page is to confirm to begin the migration. Before doing so, Remind users of the org not to revise any articles during migration. Click Begin. The next page will show the migration process. Refresh the page as needed to see the updated status. Completion time depends on the size of the knowledge base and other processes running at the same time. When the migration is finished, the Data Migration Summary page appears under Activation. This page will show any issues during the migration for each item of knowledge. If changes need to be made, then I can cancel the migration and no changes are required. Before moving forward, make sure all users have only read access to articles, so changes cannot be made during their migration. To finish the activation phase, click Next. In this step, activate Disables Old Article Types and 
Enable Lightning Knowledge. Click Activate. Once done, under Validation, review the data migration summary. In this screencast, green check marks show next to each item, which will indicate 100% migration. Any yellow flags appear beside data that didn't migrate. Validate the results of the data migration summary before I move forward. Review step 14 on the article, Migrate Multiple Article Types. This will show what to verify before moving forward. For more information, review the link on the bottom of the screen. We have also put this link in the short description of this video for you. After I validated the results, I can either cancel or accept. If I cancel, this will undo the migration and restores classic knowledge. I will accept the results, click accept, and click yes to delete the old article types. The results again depend on the size of the knowledge base. The Lightning Knowledge Migration Tool will no longer appear in setup. Once done, proceed with reviewing the Lightning Knowledge Post-Migration Checklist. For more information, review the link on the bottom of the screen. We have also put this link in the short description of the video for you. After testing and reviewing the Lightning Knowledge, eventually the same migration has to be done in production. To enable the Lightning Knowledge Migration Tool in production, log a case with Salesforce support. Allow one to two weeks advance notice from the target migration date. Before the tool can be enabled in production, the support team will ask eight questions about the migration plan and the results of the sandbox test. Review the article, requirements to enable Lightning Knowledge Migration Tool, which has the questions that need to be answered. For more information, review the link on the bottom of the screen. We have also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you will need full system administrator permissions. If you are interested in using Lightning Knowledge Tool and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.